Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now we've spent years researching wind turbines. We've read all the reviews, we've looked at all the published videos of people who are actually living with their purchases. The good, the bad and the absolute rubbish. So hopefully this video will help you fast track your own research and get you straight on to a good quality product that does actually live up to its ratings. Now the one we chose is the Istabreeze i1500 to suit a 24 volt system. Today we're going to unpack all the individual parts, have a quick look at the quality of them and then finally stick the generator up on the bench, spin it up and get some basic readings from it. So let's get into it. Now first thing is the tail fin, looks quite nice. Made out of reasonably high strength plastic or, or UPVC, not quite sure which. That looks quite good. The flange for the blades to fit onto. We went for the five blade model. That's quite nice and strong. Um, it's actually thinner than the three blade model. The three blade model is slightly thicker metal. That's good quality and it's also nice and heavy so it should give a bit of a flywheel effect while rotating. Okay, now we're getting into the business end of things. We went for carbon blades with this model, a five blade setup. And now, they're not bad. They seem quite strong. I don't want to put too much pressure on them, but they seem reasonably strong. And they're a good length as well. Let's get the measuring tape. So the blade length overall, each blade is 108 centimeters or just over 42 inches long. And again, the quality of the build seems to be pretty good. There's one or two little forming errors here on them. I don't know, can you see that on the camera? Just a tiny little forming error, but it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. But including the hub, the center hub, the overall swept area should be 2.3 meters from one side of the blade to the other. Now this is the, the tail section here, that's going to slide in like so, and that's, um, that's quite long as well, let's have a look at the size of that. Overall length then, 126 centimeters. Okay, that should be a nice guide to control the direction of the turbine. Now, the central nose cone. This is an update on some of the previous models. The older Istabreeze models only had just a small cone in the middle, whereas this one has the extra pieces to cover the ends of the blades, which is a nice little touch. And then we have our center cap here, which we just attach on to keep it all nice and tidy. So that's a nice little update that they've made on the older models. Here comes the, the really important part. This is the generator and it weighs 20 kgs. That's always a good indication of a higher power generator is the weight because you'll have more windings and larger magnets inside, of course, which makes it all heavier. And if we have a look at the ratings on this, voltage 24, weight 20 kgs, maximum output 1,600 watts. I'll be quite interested to see, does it live up to those ratings? Some other folks online who have these turbines and have made videos of them have shown them actually exceeding those ratings. This is the control unit for it, and it's actually a dual controller. It can take up to 600 watts of solar power, and maximum wind power, it says, of 1500 watts. Has a nice brake switch on there. If we look inside, it also is fused internally, which is a nice little safety feature to have as well. Okay, so that's everything that comes with the turbine kit, and the relevant controller to go with it. And it all seems to be pretty good build quality. So now let's have a look at the generator itself. What we're going to do is we're going to use the impact driver there to spin it up at a couple of different speeds and we can read the voltage across the different phases with the multimeter there. So let's have a go. We've connected into one of the phases. The meter is set on the 200 volts AC scale. So let's get our impact driver and spin it up. Okay. And we're going to try a couple of different speeds here. So let's start off slow. Okay, at a low speed, 18 and a half. High speed, 75. Faster. 
84, 83. Okay, so we've swapped to a different phase and we're going to try again. We'll start slowly. Straight away up to 19 volts at a very low speed. Slightly higher speed. That's 38, 37.9, 38 volts. Okay, let's max it again. And again, 85 this time. Well, I have to say that was quite impressive. At a very low speed, it was straight up to 19 or 20 volts, making it probably a bit too powerful for a 12 volt system. At a low to moderate speed, we were straight up to 28 to 30 volts, which makes it perfect for charging a 24 volt system. And then at an absolute maximum, at full crack, it went up over 85 volts. So it's probably going to perform quite well on a 48 volt system also. Very impressive. This is so far the best generator I have ever tested and I'm quite happy with the purchase. So we'll definitely give it a big thumbs up from us. Now folks, over the next two weeks, we're going to be adding this to our off-grid system. We're going to be building our own tower for it. So if you found this video helpful and if you'd like to see us building it and see how it performs in the real world, do hit that subscribe button and give an all thumbs up on your way out. Until then, take care.